What's up, peeps? And we are back in the stable again. Little Aerosmith. <laughs> anyway, we're going. Savile Row 3824. We're going Whacker. Whacker all round. This is a 6 8 horn scale, full hollow. And again, it wasn't just a fluke. Whacker. Grinds are the best I've seen come out of Germany. They are definitely the best grinds. Very nice leaf ground friggin' straight razor. Very, very nice. Nice razors. Here's another two. I got two more new ones, too. And the Barbus dude. Big Balls Barbus. He is just a supportive guy. And because he was so supportive, while I was away, I was like, you know what? I got to make a freaking order. And uh, I ordered Barbus Active. Um, I got the Active. And he sent me a bunch of samples of other stuff. I'm going to use, uh, he sent me a sample of the Barbus Active. This is the gel, aftershave shave, uh, gel. He sent me the bomb. He sent me a bunch of other stuff. Oh, yeah, this stuff, this shower stuff, which I used a little bit. This uh, Med Agent, very nice, 5-in-1, I uh, used some of that, 5-in-1 body wash, he sent me a bunch of stuff, but, uh, and I watched Chris's video, and I guess the, I guess um, he's got the vid, man, he's got COVID, which isn't cool, so Barbas dude, man, I hope you're alright, I hope you get a speedy recovery, I actually, I'm going for a test uh, right after this. I kind of got to hurry up. <laughs> I'm going to get, just because I traveled, so let me go get tested. That'll be test number one, and then I'll go in a few more days, whatever, get tested again, just to make sure. I mean, I feel fine. But you never know, so let me get tested. Barbus Active. Let's load it up. Really couldn't, uh, the freaking soap is like right at the end, so I couldn't like soak this. So we're just gonna, nice scent, very nice scent, clean, fresh, very clean, fresh scent, but I had to use it, I mean, the Barbers dude is just so supportive, I mean, I, you know, I hear Chris say, I don't know who else, but he's on my, he constantly commenting on my, let me add just a little water to this to get a better, get some loadage going on on the brush. You know, and I, I also want to touch on my last video. I think there was, uh, I don't think some people realize when they write, just like I personally don't like texting certain people. Like, if I'm having like a somewhat of a, sometimes text comes out very wrong. So I think there was a combination of, I don't think he realized what he was saying. And I don't, I don't know. You know what? what I'm not going to assume what he and yeah, I got soap all over my hands. I'm not going to assume what he said or what he was trying to say, but I don't think he realized how he came across. That's first off. Second off, if you're honing, right? I mean, his argument was because I don't like a sharp edge is because I'm not taking it far enough and I'm not doing the right thing. When you learn how to work a slurry, okay, if that's the case, why would I stop where I stopped then if I like buttery? It would be more serrated, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it be more serrated? <laughs> Whatever. You know what? I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to move on with these beautiful whacker razors. Hope everyone is well. But... There's a lot of ways to soften up an edge. There's a lot of little tricks. One of which you could just like, here's a little trick for guys if you want. If you think an edge is a little, little too, you got to be careful doing this though. You can't go crazy doing it. Um, you could 
a little bit of a slack strop. Not super taut, you know, tight, real tight. You don't want it tight. But just back the, the stropping uh, off to just a hair, you know what I mean? And you can soften edge and edge up that way. Um, that's just, that's not a way that I do. I do it on the stones, but if that's just a trick for somebody that doesn't hone. If you think an edge is like a little too sharp for your liking, use a little bit of a slack strop. But you got to be careful doing it. Make sure you're confident in your stropping ability before you pull, try to pull something like that off. All right, we're good. Whacker. The grinds on these blades are very nice. <laughs> very nice. I mean, they're right there, or maybe like just behind the... Uh, the Japanese, uh, the Japanese uh, Swedish steel blades. I mean, the grinds on them are just perfect. And these are, yeah, they're pretty close. I mean, beautiful horn scales, you know, just beautiful, beautiful horn scales. Here's the other side. It's got a little black in it. Just beautiful razor, you know, gold, little gold wash on the, got two others. Uh, the only thing I would say about Wacker, scales, beautiful. Grind, right there with the best of the best, okay? Where they pin, and there's obviously, there's a reason. I don't know why they pin so far up. They must have had problems with the horn cracking and whatnot because they're, they're too far. Like when you strop, they're like funny. They, they're funny to strop because of that. I mean, just the one. Just one thing I could pick from a. I mean, it's the only thing I can see with the with the mat. You know what? I can live with it with a grind like that. Nice fresh edge. <laughs> Fresh off the tree. Like biting into a friggin' peach or an apple. Fresh off the tree. Like butter. Very soft edge. Loving it. There's all different ways. And you know what? I don't put a lot of my honing techniques on video and I'll tell you why because everybody's got something to say especially honing videos forget I mean you think shaving videos you think people got fucking opinions about shaving videos throw a honing video up <laughs> you want to see friggin people jump all over you hmm <laughs> The ones I got up are like just basic, get guys going. Then everybody gets their own little style. You know what I mean? Go do it. You know, if I if you put things, advanced things that you use, everybody will have a fucking opinion. Everybody will be bashing you. And I just don't feel like dealing with it. You know what I mean? But to make an edge buttery, buttery is not dull. It's the way you work the slurry on a J nut. I've even went, I can actually, I, I'm at the point where I can look at the edge, see how much haze and stuff, and I can kind of tell if I went a little too far. I'll build another slurry and back it off a little bit. You know what I mean? I've done that before, but I'm not, I'm not making videos. I'm not doing honing videos like stuff like that. I'm just not. It's not worth it. <laughs> Beautiful shave. 
<clears throat> beautiful shade, beautiful razors. Whackers are, I'm, I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm addicted to Whacker razors. The best razors I've seen come out of Germany, um, by far. <laughs> by far. Boker is very nice. That big Boker I have, that seven eights, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? The Archbishop one. I mean, that's very nice and very nicely ground as well. Um, but I do like lacquer. Simplicit. I do like that it's just father, son, you know, making them. Kind of a cool, you know, money pass. They make very nice razors. I really like them. I like them a lot. Beautiful horn scales. Again, it's just where they put those pin placements. A little further back, you know, further. Whatever. They make razors. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's kind of awkward dropping. Little awkward dropping where they are, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm a little tired from flying yesterday. I don't like flying. <laughs> Do not like flying at all. So I end up getting like real nervous and whatnot, but whatever. It is what it is. I see these people friggin' sleeping. I like to friggin' backhand them. I'm friggin' having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> They're sleeping. How the hell do you sleep on a fucking plane? Yeah, I don't like flying. <laughs> I do not like flying. I had a bump over there. That I... Don't like it. My hands are still a little shaky. I'm freaking hungry too. I haven't eaten anything today. What time is it? I've been up for four or five hours. Very, very nice, man. Barbara's dude, I hope you, uh, I hope you're all right, man. I haven't heard from him. And I saw Chris, like I said, I saw Chris's video. And uh, let me make sure this is totally dry. I saw Chris's video that he has uh, the Rona, which ain't cool. But I hope he uh, recovers well. Anyway, Wacker All Round, they call this. All Round, it's a 6 8 Full hollow, absolutely beautiful razor. <laughs> I got two more. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking, I haven't honed the other two, but this one took a beautiful edge. Absolutely gorgeous edge. Wacker all round. Very, very nice. We went Savile, Savile, 38, 24. Let me rinse. Let me just get a rinse. Uh, 
that we can go with. Lancaster, man. We got the Lancaster. I mean, haven't used it in a couple of weeks. Very nice. Very nice shave. All right, and we got the Barbus. This is, we're going to use, oh, yeah, that's right. Barbus, star of the party. Barbus Active, which is a very nice, fresh, clean scent. Very nice. Very, very nice. Barbus Active. Barbus Active, star of the pate, man. And we're going to use this sample of this Barbus Active aftershave shave gel so let's get a couple of little squirts oh yeah nice fresh clean scent same as the uh soap oh that's good stuff i like that it's not oily yeah the shave aftershave gel very nice stuff yeah, that's a great shave. That felt good. I didn't shave yesterday. All right. You have yourself an absolutely beauteous day. Whatever it is. Hope everybody is well. Barbers, dude. Big balls, barbers, dude. I hope you feel better, brother. And thank you for all the stuff. You have yourself a beauteous day.